Call of Duty just dropped a massive red pill. In fact, it's like a nuclear carpet bomb that's gonna red pill the normies and red pill millions. Could this be the start of the great red pilling? Where all the zoomers and millennials and even the boomers rise up and take the red pill? Maybe. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious and today on the internet we're gonna talk about call of duty black ops cold war now i know what you're thinking what does this video game possibly have to do with red pilling the culture war and everything that's been going on well this actually has everything to do with it because call of duty one of the most famous franchises in the world just dropped this video on youtube it's called know your history it's an unlisted video meaning you cannot search for this video but it already has almost 400,000 views. This, my friends, is a red pill nuke. Ugh, whew. There's no other way to do this, folks, but to watch. Understand what's going on around you. You are in a state of war, and you have precious little time to save yourself. Now I've got to be honest, I played Call of Duty Black Ops, and the storyline for the main game is absolutely amazing. Like, it really blew my mind. In the game, you're, you're Mason, and for some reason you keep seeing these numbers. You know, there's that famous meme scene where it's like, The numbers, Mason! We want to know about the numbers! What do the numbers mean? And then Mason's like, I don't know! I don't know! And then you go through the game, you know, doing these missions. There's a Russian guy that appears multiple times. And at the end of the game is the biggest twist ever. I'm not sure if I want to give it spoilers for anyone who might want to play the game. But let me just tell you, it blew my mind. It, it was completely about history. And I guess I'll, I'll keep it quiet so I don't spoil it for you in case you're interested in playing it. It's the first game, part one. But what I like about the modern Call of Duty series is that they've been taking a very real look at history. And what you're going to see here is them talk about Yuri Bezmenov, perhaps one of the most important historical figures out there, because it was him that revealed that the Soviets sent agents to America to infiltrate our education, our university, our colleges, our entertainment industry, and fill them with cultural Marxists, people who would sow the seeds of socialism, Far leftism, communism, wokeism, critical race theory, and more. Sound familiar? That's the world we're living in today. It's a slow process which we call active measures. The first stage being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. The next stage is destabilization. What matters is essentials. Economy, foreign relations, defense systems. The next stage is crisis with a violent change of power, structure and economy, period of normalization. This is what will happen in the United States if you allow all these schmucks to put a big brother government in Washington DC. We will promise lots of things, never mind whether the promises are fulfilled or not. Now this is the most powerful point here. This is inspired by actual events. And if you actually think about the world now, where are we? Well, we had demoralization. We had a generation of students and people and teachers spreading cultural Marxism. And I've even made videos about this before, about Yuri Bezmenov and how it's the final red pill nuke. One of the most important red pills, in fact. They've demoralized and brainwashed America with cultural Marxism. You see that Marxism now. BLM, for example, even declared that it's a Marxist organization. Antifa is a Marxist group. And then look at the universities. You've got actual cultural Marxists and socialists literally indoctrinating children, even in regular school. So we passed the demoralization stage. Then there's destabilization, that's already happened. And then there's crisis. Coronavirus, riots, 
Ah, what's happening in the streets, folks? Literally the same as what was presented in this in this uh, this this clip. With the violent change of power structure and economy. It's happening right now, folks. Right now, we're in between the crisis stage and the normalization stage. It's all here. It's all coming true. time bomb is ticking with every second the disaster is coming closer and closer the danger is real this is absolutely incredible never in a hundred years would i ever think that a video game like call of duty would drop one of the biggest red pills in history Yuri Bezmenov talking about the Soviets, talking about cultural Marxism. It's not just a video game, folks. It's happening. Look around you. There's rioting in the streets. There's left-wingers trying to take power. Far left-wing activists who, who want to institute anarchy and socialism and communism. It's all happening right before our very eyes. Cultural Marxism. Now, I'm going to go into a bit of detail into the demoralization process, how to subvert a nation, and I'm going to show you this so that you can see and then you can think about it and say, huh, you know what? I, I, I look around at the world and that's exactly what's happening. But before we do, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for more content. And if you like this video, please give it a share. It's the only way that red pilled content like this gets out there. And now a quick commercial break. Introducing Virtue Signal the card game. <laughs> What an incredible sponsorship. It's perfect for this video because social justice is just one form of cultural Marxism. The Virtue Signal card game is a parody of social justice activism. In Virtue Signal, you play as one of 12 different social justice warriors. The object is simple. Attract a coalition of at least 15 NPCs to your cause. The game is full of backstabbing, special effects, and lots of fun. There's also currently an expansion pack, which adds all sorts of new cards to the game. But you can get it all for only $34.98. Link will be down below in the description. So I have this paper, and it's based on Yuri Bezmenov's explanation of the subversion process. So the explanation for this is, this chart shows the four stages of Soviet ideological subversion. Demoralization, destabilization, crisis, and normalization. The methods used by the subverter in different areas of life produced their desired results in a country that does not resist the subversion process. Now, listen to that last part very carefully. These only work when people do not resist. So, taking the red pill is very important, folks, if you want to stop this terrifying, terrifying history from repeating yet again. Well, it's currently going on, but maybe it's not too late. So, in order to influence the masses, they look at different areas. So I'm, I'll just go through a few of these, and then you tell me if you can think of a modern day example. Education, permissiveness, area, education. Method, permissiveness, relativity. Results, ignorance. Subculture, security. Method, intelligence, police, military. Results, defenselessness. Like trying to take away your guns. Life, family and society. Method. Break up. The destruction of the family unit. Feminism. Result. No loyalty to the state. And the life one has a lot of things that we see in our modern day. For example, labor. Method. Unions versus society. Results. Victimization. And that's exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing victimization. We're seeing people fall apart. The family unit is breaking down. And we're seeing people who hate America who have no loyalty. So then there's a power struggle, the economy falls apart, society falls apart, and the destabilization process happens. There is a irresponsible power struggle, there's the destruction of the bargaining process, there's grassroots participation, isolation, and then you get Big Brother yielding to Big Brother, mobocracy. Isn't that very interesting? Mobocracy? What are we currently seeing in the United States? We're seeing 
raging mobs of left-wing activists. Cultural Marxists. Who are going out destroying things, burning things down, and trying to institute some sort of communist utopia. Remember the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, Chad? That was pretty much an example of all of this. So let's look at the comment section. Let's see what people had to say about this amazing video. The Seven Reaper says, Literally everything Yuri Bezmenov was talking about is happening 100% to a T right now. A Mix Jabal says, This Easter egg hunt taught me more about the Cold War than school ever did. Berkey Boydell says, This is a real interview if some of you don't know. It's incredibly interesting and actually pretty frightening when you think about the way we've developed over the last 60 years. Now, it really is incredible because, you know, the left, the leftist activists who are carrying out cultural Marxism, they don't realize that they're doing it. They don't realize that they're cultural Marxist, or worse, they do, and they take pride in it. These are what Yuri liked to call useful idiots. You see, the useful idiots, the, the leftists who are idealistically believing in the beauty of Soviet socialist or communist or whatever system. Don't they serve some purpose? Wouldn't they be no, the ones they, they rely they on? They serve purpose only at the stage of destabilization of a nation. For example, your leftists in, in United States, all these professors and all these beautiful civil rights defenders, they are instrumental in the process of the, of the uh, uh, subversion only to destabilize the nation. When their job is completed, they are not, they are not needed anymore. They know too much. Some of them, when, when they get disillusioned, when they see that Marxist-Lenin has come to power, they, obviously they get offended. They think that they will come to power. That will never happen, of course. They will be lined up against the wall and shot. They will be lined up against the wall and shot. You hear that, folks? When the useful idiot's job is over, they're the first ones to get shot. That's what you're fighting for. So if you're out there rioting and looting in the name of left-wing activism, in the name of BLM, in the name of Antifa, you'll be the first ones on the chopping block if you ever succeed. Know your history or be doomed to repeat it. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now, as always, if you would like to support the work I do, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. You can also donate via DonorBox or Crypto. Links and addresses are down below in the description. And you can also help the channel by simply visiting my merch store. If you're in the market for a new t-shirt, notebook, or anything like that, go ahead and check out the link in my description. And of course, why not check out my sponsor? The Virtue Signal card game is actually pretty fun. I highly recommend it and, you know, it's very politically relevant to the world today. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.